so I am um, oh my it's really bright out so this is for my vloggy I really want to be happy but I guess I don't know I cry a lot and I've cried a lot I've been sad down um, but I want to I, I never wanted to look like my mom and to be like my mom and I feel like I'm a carbon copy of my mom she was shorter than me though she was like 5'3 and had whiter skin than me and had a bigger belly but not by much and I mean I, I don't know I, who wants a big belly woman like nobody usually big belly women are alone I mean I don't know I don't know my experience but I uh, another girl that I my boyfriend my old boyfriend I call him my first husband his sister has a big belly she's single and she's she actually seems happy <laughs> she does so I like her I do I actually like her um, she keeps herself busy she works a job a full-time job she's got a townhouse she's got cats um, and she's always getting into something starting some kind of project so I do like her um, my husband's mom had a big belly and she was just a miserable person always complained about something and um, couldn't stand her body and was lonely and wanted a man but was so miserable like she could it was very hard to please well impossible to please not even hard to please impossible to please so, and then there was my mom, and my mom, I don't know what her deal was. She didn't know how to be happy. She didn't know how to be good to herself, really. And I don't want to be like that. I know all over, like, social media, people are saying, you know, people say, oh, do something about it. If you don't like it, do something about it. I know it just seems like hopeless to me I just feel like it I could never change my body <sighs> like it it just doesn't seem to work with my life I don't I don't know I kind of eat healthy I like the way I eat I've gotten some plant-based proteins at home from Safeway I'm into more fruit I never eat out it's just my rider I had a ride um, named Jen and I took her to DC she's a sex worker um, and I waited for her and I was bringing her back but then she had another ride in another part of DC that she wanted me to do for her and she ended up staying but she took good care of me she paid me for both ways and she gave me um, she went to Popeye's and got chicken and biscuits and but I don't eat that stuff but I'm hungry and I'm and actually I feel like I need comfort so I've been eating this mac and cheese and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not dieting. I'm just trying to be healthy. Hmm. I've just um, been really, really tired. But I like makeup. I'm a good person. That should matter. It does matter. It does matter. Um, I am fat. I have big arms, big thighs, big belly. It's the big belly part that I'm kind of ashamed of. <laughs> 
Um, I am going to see my doctor, though. She was going to do some kind of sonogram or something to see what why it's so big. Because I want to know. Why do some people have big bellies and some people don't? This is so good. How could I not eat it? <laughs> I just don't want to feel bad about myself. I just don't want to feel bad about myself. I want to be me. So, I'm not really going to talk about my twin flame. I'm going to do another video for my twin flame. Good people that follow their conscience and that are in touch with their conscience are just a breath of fresh air. And I want to stop judging myself. I want to make peace with my mom. I'm so I miss her so much. And she's here, but I can't feel it. I can't talk to you. Jen is such a blessing. Jen was such a blessing. My rider, she got me a coat. She just treats me like a person. I love her. see it's really bright the sun has been really intense but it's hard healing from trauma <laughs> you feel like such a fucking baby it's hard letting it come up <laughs> you feel like such a baby <laughs> That's why nobody does it. Do you understand? That's why... I mean, it's not popular. I never see anybody crying. I never see anybody releasing trauma. Do you know how much trauma gets large, lodged in you? From rejection? From abandonment? So much? From, from as a baby... When you don't have parents that rock you and hold you and nurture you, pay attention to you and hear you and see you and are present, you just feel so fucking invisible and like you don't matter. I want to have a baby. I want to have a lot of children. I want to adopt children. I, I, I want to have a lot of money and I deserve it. I deserve to be able to take care of children the way that they deserve to be cared for. <laughs> That'll help me. <sighs> if I ever heard the universe, I thought, that, I know the universe, something told me that I was going to have Stephen's son. But it doesn't seem like I am because it doesn't. I don't even. I, I, I'm not in menopause, but I don't have my period. I don't bleed. So, um, anyway. I don't like. It's hard to believe in stuff. I just have to let it go. I guess I heard something wrong. I, I don't know. It's confusing. I know people think you're crazy. If you get confused, if you show confusion, if you show weakness, but it's not. It takes courage to be weak. It takes courage to show confusion. 
<laughs> it's, it takes courage to show trans to be transparent. <laughs> I hate thinking about Steven because we don't fit. When my in my head we don't fit, but in my heart we fit. <laughs> I miss him and I love him. And that's my twin flame, and I don't want to talk about him. And I don't know why I don't feel good enough. I don't feel good enough at all, even for myself. I feel like such a disappointment to myself. I can't, I'm not like other people. I can't do things that other people can do. I don't get the love and the attention that other people get. I never have. Never. And how am I expected to be here without my mom and without my grandmother and without family? It's hard. I'm so lonely. But I've always been lonely. What? That dumpster says bad company. <laughs> Just like the group. It was written just like the group band company but so I've always been lonely I just never let it out like this I always stuffed it with a guy oh, damn I, why should I turn around I, oh. I just passed a little fruit stand um, and they have corn and I really want corn So, anyway, I don't have anything else to say. I feel better. It's just hard right now. I feel so, like... Most nuts. I just... I need a person to be in my life, to be with me. I really want a husband. Whatever. I want to go to bed together every night. That's not that's not gonna happen with Steven. Fuck him. But anyway, I don't want this is not about him. I'm trying to focus on me. I'm trying to focus on me. shit in this car right from my trip, my um, trip to D.C. today. And I'm proud of myself how I adored. It wasn't easy dealing with this chick. I don't like looking at myself in the mirror. Like being that woman that says that I used to be pretty. But I'm not hideous. And I want to, I want to have a garden. I want to, I want to, uh, uh, there's things. I don't have to have makeup on to be pretty. You, you know, there's a thing on now on TikTok. You don't have to be skinny to be pretty. You don't have to be skinny to be pretty. You don't have to have makeup and be skinny. You don't have to have makeup and be skinny. You don't have to be have makeup and be skinny to be pretty. You don't have to be young to be pretty. You don't have to be young and have makeup on and be skinny to be pretty. <laughs> you don't have to have a man to feel good. You don't have to have money. I can't believe all these people that are Trump supporters. Ugh. And I could be totally wrong. I try to stay open. I just hope that this country is okay. I 
I hope that things get better, not worse. This is a freaking, um, I guess I'm going to go to the goddamn carnival tomorrow. I try to stay open. I get crusty. And, you know, I, I can't really see my coochie. I can't really shave around in that area anymore because of my thighs and my fupa. I can't fucking get to it. And that area, and then if I do shave because it rubs, I get all kinds of boils and they hurt. They're ingrown hairs because of the rub. I know that was random to just blurt that out, but that's every fat chick that's fat in that area. I have struggled with my self-love forever, and I just don't want to... I mean, I guess that's going to be the rest of my life. There's layers. But there's other things to focus on. I walked longer than I ever walked the other night at a faster pace. Like, I'm getting um, stronger and having this endur endurance. It's the weather. It's allergies or something have been dropped bugging me today. Um, I've released a lot of bad energy. When I start feeling bad, I let it come up. I feel it out and release it. Um, you know, I can't get all worked up over my stomach and over how bad my face looks and how weird that I have weird, my hair does weird things. And it's you know, so that's, this is normal. People spend hours straightening their hair and won't go out of the house if their hair is a mess or puts a hat on or spends hours and thousands of dollars on fucking makeup. I'd rather have tattoos. I'd rather have piercings. I wish I had lashes. I wish I could wear makeup. It just doesn't look right. But I'll try. I'll keep trying. It's patience. And I don't want to fucking love Steven. And I fucking love him like crazy. And I hate this shirt. But it's kind of cute because it's purple. So when you change, maybe nobody tells you this. Oh my God. He's having some kind of a furniture sale in the morning, I guess. Oh my God, he's a train wreck to me. But that's good. That's good, Dominic. Good job. Going to sell all his junk he has. Um, maybe he does that every weekend. Has a junk sale. Um, I like him as a guy, but he's just not good enough or whatever. I, uh, I'm not attracted to him at all. The only person I'm even remotely contracted to, attracted to is Steven. And it breaks my heart that he's attracted to other women. Like, I wish he would heal that. I wish he would commit to me. I deserve that. He deserves that. Aren't I ready for that, universe? I deserve that. I deserve to get what I want sometimes. All the time, actually. I deserve to have friends that love me. That I don't have to be skinny. That I don't have to be rich. That I don't have to be bossy. And, con you know, I, I can just be me. They don't have to make me feel weird or inferior. <sighs> finally back to Westminster. Finally. It's taken me forever. Actually, I like Jen. She, Jen, I've seen her rants. She rants and bitches, and, but she's got to get that out. And I understand that. You got to get shit out. Oh. I wish my stomach was smaller. I wish I could shave my pussy. I wish I could see Steven like once a week. I wish we would do something besides be at his apartment. I wish he would come see my apartment. I wish we would go out to eat, go to the movies, do stuff. 
I wish that I would get strong enough where I can roller skate and I can run. I'd like to be active. I don't have to be skinny, but I'd like to be active. And I guess I'd like to be proud of my body. No royal farms. Oh, they're... Well, good luck with that. I guess they're going to put a royal farms right here. And that house said no royal farms. Uh, I don't think you fucking matter, so sorry. And I know... Hold on. I know nobody's going to watch this. Who wants to hear me babbling for 30 minutes? So, I'm not even going to watch this. So, it doesn't even fucking matter. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because at some, some level, it's making me feel better. <sighs> Life is... I don't know why it's so fucking hard. I don't know why there's so many goddamn layers. And there's so many... It, <sighs> so much shit in life and and I'm so empty and I just want I just want to run but whatever stop I'm not going to think about that I just want to run to Steven I sleep with his shirt I uh, right here is his do rag his handkerchief on his head why doesn't he feel that way to me? I deserve, I deserve that. I deserve somebody to think that I'm amazing. Because I am. I deserve to fall in love with myself. And even when I look like this. Even when I look like this. Even when I have no eyelashes and I'm all pasty and pale. And dusty and... And even when my hair's all dumb and falling. And that's true. I deserve a sexy man, but sexy to me only. And that's good. And I deserve a man. I don't want to feel bad because I want a man. I don't want to feel bad because I want to be married. And I don't want a marriage like other people's. That they might as well be single. They're just cohabitating. I want a marriage that's like a best friendship. A partnership. That no matter how long we're together, we, look, we stay together. And we look forward to being together. <laughs> Those are beautiful, beautiful sunflowers on the side of that house. I deserve to have a nice house that I love, that I adore. <sighs> well, this girl I met last night, we, she was supposed to be following me on TikTok, so I'll check, because I forgot about her, so I didn't check to see if, because I liked her. I think she drank, she talked my ear off, that's when I knew I had to go come home, that I was too, she just, she was irritating, she talked a lot, like, ran on and on. So, I have to go to Safeway, pick up an order, and then I want to go to bed at 6 o'clock at night. But I don't care. And I wish magic would happen and Stephen would call me or text me. And t I don't know. I do. I don't think he meant what he said. I don't. I think that he was angry because he's unhappy. And I was so happy loving him. And I think that I, I need to be happy loving myself, I guess. I don't know. They say that you have to love yourself first. It just felt so... It made me so happy to love him. But he... Anyway, this is not my... This is my vlog, so... But he lashed out at me in anger, I think. That's what I, I thought I saw in his energy. he's going to have to change that. <sighs> and I feel dumb that I keep babbling. 
I fell down a lot. A lot of people I've seen put down women because they we talk too much. Oh, I need gas. Oh, I'm going to get gas right here. I don't feel like it, but ooh, it's a wonder I made it. I don't know how long my fuel light's been on, but it just hit me. So, God, I miss Mark. I miss being in love. Mark, and I, I was so in love with Mark, my husband. God, it was so amazing. He hurt me so bad. All right, I'm pausing it. I don't give a fuck how long this is. 